Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. So here I am with one more important video for all my dear viewers and students. So yes, this is the video of Class 9, History Chapter, Vijayanagara Empire and Bahamani Kingdom. And this is part two of this video series. Yes, in part one, we have already discussed our multiple choice questions and short answer questions, which is already uploaded in my video. And the video of the same, the video link of the same will be shared in the i button above. And here in this part two video, we are going to discuss all the long question answers of this chapter. So let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Let's get quickly started with all the long answer questions. So first question from this chapter. Name the four dynasties who ruled Vijayanagara Empire. Answer. The four dynasties who ruled Vijayanagara Empire are Sangama dynasty, Saluwa dynasty, Tuluwa dynasty and Aravidu dynasty. So these are the four dynasties who ruled over Vijayanagara Empire. Second question. What were the achievements of Devaraya II? Answer. The achievements of Devaraya II were as follows. He defeated the king Gajapati Kapilendra of Orissa and seized Kondavidu. He expanded his kingdom up to Krishna River in the north, in the northeast by suppressing the regional leader of the border. He defeated the Kerala state and received royalties from Kerala and Sri Lanka. Hence, he came to be known as Dakshinapata, Dakshinapatada Chakravarti, the emperor of the south. He chased the traditional foe Ahmad Shah of Bahmani till Bijapur and occupied Mudgal and Bankapura. His commander, Lakkana Dandesha took up a successful naval victory. So these were the achievements of Devaraya too. Next question. What were the problems Krishna Devaraya had to face when he ascended the throne? Answer. Following problems were faced by Krishna Devaraya when he came to power. The kingdom was besieged by various complex internal and external problems. The Europeans who had arrived through new sea routes had established colonies. The Mughals of the north were trying to expand their kingdom in the southern region. The five Shahi kingdoms of Bahmani dynasty became powerful sultanates and plunged into war against Krishna Devaraya. The kings of Ummaturu and Orissa were a constant source of threat. So these were the problems which Krishna Devaraya had to face when he ascended the throne. Next question. What are the contributions of Vijayanagara Empire to the economic system and society? So you can see the answers here are in point. So depending upon the marks, you can write the number of points. One point will carry half mark, 0.5 mark. Okay. So let's see contributions of which Empire part of the economic system first, and then we'll see the society. So under economic system, land tax was the main source of revenue for the kingdom. Farmers gave one fourth of their income to the government as tax. Professional tax, revenue tax, road tax, market tax, commercial tax, import and export taxes, and tributes from the vassals were other forms of revenue to the kingdom. Agriculture was the backbone of the economy. Many important food and cash crops were grown. Many wells, tanks, and canals were constructed for irrigation and agriculture. There was great progress in the field of industries and commerce. Spices like pepper, cloves, and cardamom, salt, iron ore, 
diamonds, granulated sugar, sandal perfume, etc. were exported. There were many textile industries. Coins of different denominations like gold coins, gadayana, pagoda, silver coins and copper coins were in use. There were diamonds, iron ore centers, sapphires used to be available in plenty. Countries like Arab, China and Portugal had trade relations with the Vijayanagara Empire. So this was about economic system. Now let's see about the society. So the society was based on the four-tiered caste system. However, there was also occupation-based caste system. There were many skilled artisans, blacksmiths, bell metal spits, carpenters, weavers, and cobblers in the society. The practice of child marriage, sati, and devdasi were prevalent. Though monogamy was the common practice, kings and rich people had many wives. Okay, so these were the points about the economic system and the society of Vijayanagara Empire. So depending upon the marks, again, you can write the points. Let's move to next question. Describe the administration and revenue system during the rule of Bahamani Sultans. So let's say administration first. There were three levels of administration, namely central, provincial and village. Among these, there was revenue, judicial and military administration too. The Sultan was the chief of the central administration. The cabinet was called Majlis e Ilwit. Top officials, commanders, ulemas, and amins were friends and relatives of the Sultan. Gawan converted the existing four provinces into eight units, and these provinces were administered by 15 governments. The governments were divided into paraganas. Kotwal, Deshmukh, and Desai were the administrators of the paraganas. The village was the final independent unit of administration. So these are the points of administration. Again, you can write depending upon the marks. Each point will carry half mark or 0.5 mark. Now let's see about the revenue system or taxation system because this was one of the source of revenue. So under this, uh, we have land tax was the main source of income for the kingdom. Amir Jumlas were the head of the revenue authorities. One third to half of the agriculture produce was collected as land tax. There were 50 kinds of taxes including house, mines, tobacco, grasslands, trade and employment. So these were different types of taxes in system which comes under revenue of this empire. So with this we finish our answer. And with this answer we come to an end with all the important questions of this chapter. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you all. If you like the video do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel for more such videos and stay tuned because we are going to come up soon with more such important question answer videos. Till then stay safe and take care. Thank you.